Good afternoon, Keepers of the Cash. Gary B, the Casual Comic Guy here, and hopefully you guys are having a great week. This is NCBD Comic Call for May 1st. We're going to get right into the books that I picked up for the week. Hopefully you guys got some great books. Um, I know I'm happy with this week's selections, and uh, we're going to get right into it. And uh, first up, um, first one I read this week, of course, was um, Spider-Woman number 7, uh, with Jessica continuing the search for for a way to save her son Roger and this was great uh, she ran into a team here uh, first appeared in Web of Spider-Man 1 and I'm forgetting their name uh, for the moment but a lot of fun uh, here we go here's the variant cover with them on it and then we have the black costume variant from uh, Peach Momoko so there we go and uh, a great series I'm really liking it of course, on the show for uh, Jessica Drew Spider Woman, and then we got uh, the LCS had a four pack of Conan Virgin variant covers. These by Patrick Zercher. So we got issue number five of Conan the Barbarian. You may remember they did this with Roberto De La Torre. The ones I picked up for one through four, uh, they're twenty dollar pack. So there we go. There's uh, issue five. We have issue six. Issue 7. And of course, Issue 8. Some King Conan on the cover there, just slaying. So good stuff. Uh, then we have Issue number 3 of The Fog from Sumerian. And uh, that looks like a that's a great cover. And uh, of course, I'm really enjoying this. The Fog is one of my favorite horror movies. Of course, my favorite movie is The Thing, but John, my second favorite John Carpenter movie is is kind of a tie between they live in the fog it just depends on my mood that day but i love both those movies but the fog is a great atmospheric horror movie and a lot of people don't realize that there's not a drop of blood in it it's just all atmosphere and storytelling and it's fantastic next up we got the second print of helen of windhorn i had to get this black and white variant i just love this book uh, the character development is insane and great, and it's a kind of a slow burn, so some people may be put off by that. Uh, for me, I'm really enjoying the time that I get to spend getting to really know these characters, and and um, every time something changes, it's a little bit more impactful for the time that I get to spend with them. So really enjoying it. Great job, Tom King and uh, Bill Chris Evely. And then, of course, we have Guma number six. I think there's one more issue to this, and then that is finished. All right, so this is uh, written and created by Jay Hong Lee. I could be wrong on that. And then this is going to be four parts, I think. This is Barbaric Number 1, Born in Blood. Now, there is a free comic book day, uh, Born in Blood 2. That will be available this Saturday on May 4th. So if you're into Barbaric, make sure you grab that from your LCS. And then we have <coughs> Blood Hunt Issue 1. Now, I wasn't, I'm not getting into the Blood Hunt series. I'm not going to do 57 or 59 bucks to, to read a story. But I did have to buy this Art Germ Tiger cover. Just absolutely gorgeous. What a beautiful cover. So, pure cover buy here for Tigra. Absolutely love it. And then we're going to end the haul in style with issue number two of the Savage Sword of Coney, and this has the Jim Zub story. This has the second part of the Sullivan Kane story, which will be concluded in issue number three. Uh, this is the Dave Dorman cover. All right. Uh, just one of those classic fantasy artists. And then we have the Nick uh, Marinkovich cover. So his art I'm not familiar with. Great cover though. Uh, great mood and atmosphere. So can't wait to dig into Savage Sword of Conan. Uh, I'm going to sit down with this when I got a little bit of extra time. So hopefully maybe later tonight. But that is the haul for this week guys. Let me know what you picked up in the comments below. If we have anything similar. Usually I don't guys. I'm so niche. I like my own things. And uh, I don't get a lot of crossover with people. But it's okay. That's the great thing about comics. There's literally something out there for everybody to read. So I hope whatever your something is, you're enjoying it and you're having a great time with it. Don't let anybody put you off it. If you like it, like it. Don't let any, any negative people make you feel bad for reading whatever it is 
you enjoy. But that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, keep it casual.